Good afternoon, this is Chrissy and welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today for my first video of 2023. Before I get started on showing you my completed uh, Roxy's Journal of Stitchery Christmas um, book, uh, I'd like to take the opportunity to wish everyone who visits me here uh, a very happy uh, new year and I hope that over the course of 2023 I'll be able to come back and share uh, my projects with you. So I've now completed my book. Um, you may have seen progress videos during the past six months and um, where I had my book in a um, my pages, sorry, in a um, green hard-covered book. Well, that is still underneath here, but um, I found that as um, I had more and more pages, um, it wasn't, the spine wasn't really holding up too well, so, and it was a little bit too narrow, so um, I've sort of made things work with the same cover and, then it, and it's still under here but I've um, found this, I did try and find another cover but I couldn't find anything that I really liked so um, in the end I decided on doing a slip cover for it which I've done here and um, it's still the same book. So I've made a little charm here for the side just with some old buttons and rusty bells and this is the um, snippet wrap that you may have seen if you've watched some of my earlier progress videos so that's just that I put a little charm on there and um, this cover actually can come off and I didn't glue that down hard on this onto here because I didn't want to cover that lovely um, presentation um, sticker there. So this was my title page and I made the wreath for that. Uh, and the overall um, style of my book is sort of primitive. I kept it fairly fairly primitive and um, Rachel and Sarah gave us prompts for either a Christmas um, theme or a winter theme and a little bit of both in um, my book. So in the back here I've printed out the prompts. There was two prompts for each month and I've printed those out here. Um, so the first month, which was July, was uh, a reindeer or deer. And each month they gave us a feature. And for July it was a fabric tag. So I incorporated my little fabric tag here on the cover. And I just uh, stitched the ear on that. So that was my cover and this was my reindeer. So uh, that's that. And then for the second half of July it was Christmas wreath or winter wreath. So I've done a, uh, that was my second wreath because of course I'd already done that for my cover. So um, that was July. And then uh, August was a Christmas tree or snowflake. So I did the Christmas tree. And the feature was a cluster uh, or tab. So I've kind of done a little bit of both there, a cluster and a little tab on the side. So that was my Christmas tree. Um, the other 
two weeks of August was Christmas Village or Winter Village. So I've done a Christmas Village here. For that one. And then next was a snowman or woodlands. So I did um, the snowman there. Put a little baby snowman in the pocket. And then this one, um, that was, oh yes, a nutcracker or mushrooms. Well, this is where I switched to the um, winter thing because I didn't want to do the nutcracker. So I did the mushrooms. So there we've got that. That's a little tiny pocket in there too. Oh, was that the feature? Yes, the feature was a pocket, so I did this tiny little pocket in here. I haven't put anything in there, but um, that's my pocket. Then, this must have been July, August, September, this must have been October, a gingerbread house or log cabin. Well, this is another one I've sort of... Um, doubled up on too because I did my log cabin in the log cabin sort of rustic patchwork style there but also um, the feature was an envelope yes so this is my envelope and in here I made a little uh, gingerbread person <laughs> so I did a little bit of both there that's you could go there like that, but I just tuck them in, tuck them in there. So that was my interpretation of um, that one. And then this one was a vintage Christmas image or winter image. So... Um, I printed that out on fabric and did some embroidery on it and some gold threads and some more embroidery down here and added that pretty doily. That was that one. And then that was July. August, September, October, November was a Christmas bird or winter bird or snowy owl. So I did um, a peace dove for that one. And the feature for that month was a belly band. So uh, I've, this is my belly band here. And then the other half was um, Father Christmas or Fox. So I did a Father Christmas here with his sack and a little teddy in it. Um, kept that one pretty primitive. And then this was December, the first half was a snow globe or winter or winter must have been a winter globe uh, so that's my interpretation for that one and it was a flap the feature was a flap I've done some embroidery down here and here out here put a little charm there uh, it was a flap, so yes, albeit little, it is a little flap, so I've just put the word wish, wishes under there, and um, that's my flap. And then the last um, prompt was um, 
choose your own adventure. So I did this one for um for that. And then this, uh, as I said, was a list of um, prompts, and I made a little pocket here, and I've got uh, just a little, um, you know, some notes about the project. So uh, it's been a fun project, um, sometimes a bit stressful, when I haven't really known what I was going to do, or what I wanted to do, but each um, fortnight I managed to come up with something and uh, I'm really happy with my end result and um, I thank Rachel and Sarah for um, hosting this and for all the uh, work that they've put into sharing with us and um, there's a new uh, project about to start uh, that they've called um, I think it's down the garden path or something like that and if you go to uh, Rachel and Sarah's channels which I will put in the show more box um, they'll tell you all about that so looking forward to that so thank you everyone for spending this time with me today and I hope everyone's well and uh, I'll see you in my next project. Bye.